All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? We are live. It is your boy, Jason Stone, and I'm excited to be here today. Truly blessed, highly grateful, and living in this abundant world that we're in. And uh, I'm excited to bring to you guys and talk about something. I'm going to be launching uh, a podcast here, but I thought to myself, let's just get this podcast started. Let's launch it on Instagram Live. So I have a special guest coming on. We're going to be interviewing a four-time best-selling author in the home-based business and wealth uh, management strategies uh, industry. And um, we have none other than Mr. Brian Carruthers, who are going to be bringing on this live. And we're going to be talking all things wealth protection. Let me just uh, bring him in here real quick. There we go. Invite. Let's see if he gets it. All right, there we are, Mr. Brian Carruthers. How you doing? Jason, how are you, man? I'm good, I'm good. Let's talk about we're going to be launching a podcast soon, and I might as well just start it on Instagram Live. It's been a while since I've been live with my followers, so thank you all for joining us here. And, uh, you know, we're going to start this interview process right now. So uh, Mr. Brian Carruthers here is a four-time best-selling author. He's written books on personal development, wealth management, um, home-based business strategies, and uh, we're going to be talking about what you what you've done with your life what you know how'd you get to where you are now how, how did you become successful in this industry yeah well first of all i uh, appreciate the opportunity to be on here it's great to to uh watch what you've done for so many people and it's uh, great to be your friend so look you know at the end of the day um you know i came from a background in real estate uh, i was born into a real estate family uh my parents did very very well when i got out of college i jumped right into being a real estate agent by the time i was 24 i was making six figures so I thought I was doing pretty decent, but I was working around the clock. Uh, but I, uh, through a fellow real estate agent, I was introduced to some entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurship is much different than being an employee or being a real estate agent. And some of these entrepreneurs were living the lifestyle that I really wanted to live. They, had, they were making way more money. They had a lot more time freedom. And through them, I actually became uh, mentored by a billionaire who became, uh, became a personal friend. And so I learned some non-traditional ideas and concepts on instead of how to trade my time for money, but instead how to actually build wealth. And when I wrote my books, my, uh, my money mindset book, uh, the reason why I wanted to make sure I put a manual in place to help people to create net worth so they can have wealth. Wealth is basically a definition of the amount of time that you could survive if your income went away. How wealthy are you? If your cost of living is 5,000 a month, you've got 20,000 in the bank. In four months, you'd be homeless. So you wouldn't feel very wealthy. But if your cost of living is $5,000 a month and you've got 5 million in the bank, you would feel wealthy because you probably would not, out, you would not outlive your money. Mm -hmm. So my hope, my goal, my, not my hope, I've been doing it for 20 years now. Uh, it, my goal is when I wake up every day, uh, how can I uh, set more people financially free? How can I help them to identify the right opportunity so they can become an entrepreneur without a lot of startup capital, without a lot of risk, and on a sideline basis? You know, Jason, this is the most important thing. If I was told, Brian, you need to quit your job and start a business, I would have said, no, it's too scary, too risky. I don't want to start. I can't risk walking away from what I'm already doing. So that holds a lot of people back. But what Jim Rohn always taught, my favorite author and business coach of all time, he said, you work hard all day at your job to earn a living, but you should be working spare time nights or weekends building your fortune. So I decided while I'm working full time in real estate, part time on the side, I'm going to build my fortune. And, and that's, that's what they, they call your side hustle. Everybody should have a side hustle, right? Yeah. And, but here's the thing. The, the, the difference, I also would say that there's a distinction. Some people look at a side hustle as it's a permanent state of being it's a side hustle i'm just going to do it on the side for a little while yeah so, yes people can have a side hustle there's a lot of people <clears> that buy uber or whatever as a side hustle i would say take it even a step beyond a side hustle make your side thing your plan b make it eventually the plan is to make it your plan a and now, the goal it, is to have the vision when you're starting like, your side hustle is see the light again and they'll have the big grand vision to want to be able to quit your job and that side hustle overtake your earned income that you're working at your job. Yeah, look, if your side hustle is Uber, 
then your long-term vision is not to have it take That's not a side hustle. <laughs> that, that's actually a job. <laughs> right, right. So your side hustle should not be another second job. Yeah. You've got a job already. Don't have a, a side hustle is not a, a job. A side hustle should be a business that you start for yourself. Otherwise, you just have two jobs and two bosses and, and, and two thumbs on your neck. Yeah. Well, you got to start some sort of business. If you like basketballs, sell basketballs. If you like trading cards, get into a business regarding trading cards. I always, I always tell people you should start a business that interests you. Some, one of your hobbies. Everybody has hobbies, right? Start something in a business around your hobbies because you know, you're going to have to like what you do. You know, if you're just trying to make money and you don't like what you do, it probably is going to fizzle out. So if you like what you do, you never have to work a day in your life, right? So eventually a side hustle with something that you like to do can eventually become a main hustle and something that you're very passionate about. Yeah. So here, my, my, my advice to all your viewers is um, begin with the end in mind. Like, what is your end game? What's your exit strategy? What are you trying to build for? People spend more time planning and designing a two-week vacation than they do planning and designing their life. <laughs> so look, they might, they might like um, basketballs or like whatever things, that, whatever you just mentioned, they might like certain things and they can start a business around that. Uh, the question that they need to ask themselves is, if I get really, really good at it and I pour my heart and energy into it, will it ever deliver me the ultimate result that I really want, which is complete and utter financial and time freedom? There's a lot, most businesses won't provide that. I don't care if it's a side business or if it's your main business. I've been coaching hundreds of thousands of people uh, over the last 20 years, uh, entrepreneurs. And I ask them, hey, look, will your job ever give you what you want in life? If you're the Michael Jordan at your job and you go bust your ass doing it for the next 20 years, are you ever going to be able to retire from it financially free? And most people are like, no, my job is never going to give me the ultimate light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, mm -hmm. how about your business? A lot of times people's businesses wind up owning them. So my, my, my advice would be find a business that has certain attributes so that way you do have an end game. For example, um, I, I think the holy grail of a business today uh, lives or exists on the most valuable real estate in the world, which is a mobile app on people's phones because we're all staring into that five inches living on it all day long. So if you can have a mobile app business and if you can have a recurring revenue um, a subscription model. Uh, the best businesses of today, they get money from their customers every month without having to keep on selling to them every month. Um, and if you can build up a passive residual income from that business so that your exit strategy, one day you can slow down or stop, but your income keeps coming in, that is what is worth your time and attention. Yeah. So if you have three hours, four hours, five hours, 10 hours a week that you could devote to a side business Pick the side business well. You need to make sure the business makes sense. It provides real value, solves real problems for people. It's mobile-based, hopefully, a subscription model if you can find something like that. And make sure that you find a mentor. Now, I love your name, Millionaire Mentor. You need a mentor. I've spoken every year over the last 10 years at the GoPro event in Las Vegas for entrepreneurs. On stage with Tony Robbins, Richard Branson, Mark Victor Hansen, uh, Pitbull, Magic Johnson, amazing people. Lou Holtz, four years ago, at that event. He said the most valuable thing you're ever gonna find in your lifetime is a mentor. And the question I ask people all the time, who's your mentor? Oh, my dad, my mom, no, those are your parents, okay? Who's, a mentor is somebody who's achieved massive success in something that you're pursuing and they're willing to take their time and energy to help you to do what they've done and get where they've gotten to. Most people have, don't know how to find a mentor or couldn't afford that mentor. And so I think it's super important to find the right business and find a mentor that can help you get it done. So let me ask you, what, uh, what is the business you're in? Let's, let's break it to them. Like what, what, is, what have you been focused on for the last you know, 15, 20 years of your life? I, I think focus is key. A lot of people, uh, they dabble in a lot of different businesses. They try this business, they try this business. But if, if you could just focus on one business and pour your heart and your soul into that one business, you're going to be better off than the person who's doing the same business as you and also splitting it up with two other three. It's like the, the biggest um, lie we're ever told is millionaires have multiple streams of income. Well, that is a lie up until you have one really good source of income and then you can start diversifying. So if you yeah. were to, you know, if you were to pick one and you know, have someone focus on one, what would that be? 
Yeah, well, yeah, the lie asking, right? I mean, it, people say, well, I'm, I'm a multitasker. No, you have to stop a task to start the other one. Then you have to start that one to go back to the other one. And it's, it, you're never doing the same two, two things at one time. Your brain, your body can't do it. So multitasking, it doesn't, it, it is, is, a, is a lie. And also the multiple streams of income, like you talked about, um, you know, would you rather have five different businesses that are making you $500 a month each? Or would you rather have one making you 50,000 a month? Because yeah. you're never going to get the $50,000 a month in one business, in any business, if you're doing five of them at one time. You're gonna be a mile wide and an inch deep, and you're gonna be the jack of all trades and the master of none. Yeah. The other problem, all trade, master of none. You know, at the end of the day, <clears throat> uh, it, it, everybody has no problem starting a business, but not many people finish. A lot of starters, very few finishers. So yeah. my first recommendation is, uh, whenever you decide to start a business, whatever people decide to do, finish it. Like it's not, you know, people, I don't want to get rich quick scheme. Oh, well, I'm quitting now after three weeks because I didn't make a million dollars yet. You said yeah. you didn't get rich quick scheme, but when you didn't get rich, you say it doesn't work. No, you didn't give it the time. You started a business. I mean, you went to school for four years at college and spent uh, six figures to go get that degree before you made dollar one but then you can't spend four months or four years building up a business of your own to into profit mode. So anyway, um, to answer your question, so I was real estate full-time. I was introduced to these entrepreneurs in a project that the, the company called Legal Shield, which markets uh, a legal service for a tiny monthly fee. You got access to an app on your phone to handle speeding tickets, get your will drawn up, save you a thousand bucks on that, or write a letter for you and make a phone call, represent you if somebody sues you, all that kind of stuff. And so this app, we didn't market this app and people sign up, they could use it whenever they need it. And it's a recurring revenue stream. Also identity theft and privacy protection, ID shield. So the company that I'm actually affiliated with has two services that provides real value, gives people access to the legal help, help whenever they need it. Um, and also to protect their very privacy and identity. Cause we're, we all live on social media. We are all online. We all have our information that is vulnerable. It's getting stolen and, and it, and it wrecks your, it can wreck your life. So I saw value in the company's services. So number one, if you look, if you're trying to decide what business is for me, make sure that there is a valuable product that people can't go get off the shelf at, uh, at, at Walmart or on Amazon cheaper. Number two, you want to make sure that there is uh, a real financial opportunity. You know, can you make meaningful money? And meaningful, I'm th what, I, what I mean by that is, if you're going to spend a few hours a week on it, you need to be, be able to make a, a comma check. Uh, you need to have at least a comma check. <clears throat> Check. like at least a thousand dollars a month yeah. part and if you can make a thousand part-time in a month then guess what you can continue to scale it and you can make two and if you can make two you can take it to three or four so that's what i did you know i started i started the business part-time i started i, I made eleven thousand dollars i'm like all right i'm gonna take it i'm gonna scale it up and i made twenty thousand my sixth month and i scaled it up and made forty two thousand my twelfth month so my first year i made two hundred forty eight thousand dollars which was way more than i was bringing home from real estate Wow. And then, I, and then I kept on growing and scaling it, and developing the business, and developing people in the business. And now I've made twenty-five million dollars. Hey, check this out! From the same little home-based business that cost me a couple hundred dollars to start, I've made twenty-five million dollars wow. from the same business that my friends and family told me I was an idiot and a moron. "Quote unquote," they called me an idiot. My dad, idiot. My brother called me a moron for wasting my time <clears throat> outside of my real estate career to do this <laughs> home-based business. $25. My team that I've developed and helped work with them has been collectively pay paid in their pockets over $500 million in their pockets. I've watched hundreds of people retire from their jobs now living off their residual income. That's crazy. I mean, the, so the, the products and service he's talking about, I actually just used them. I'm so glad you introduced them to me. Um, you know, less than a few months ago, I got signed up and I used the products for the first time and I saved about two thousand dollars on legal legal fees, fees and contracts. I have five different contracts from non circumvent, non uh, non disclosure, uh, partnership agreements, uh, NCA and non disclosure agreements. Uh, what other agreement that I get? Um, um, there's a, a real estate agreement that I got done. Like five five contracts that I just got done for what thirty bucks a month that yeah. a lawyer wouldn't normally charge me $500 per contract and yeah. they have revisions. I, I couldn't believe it. I was blown away. So there's a couple opportunities here, guys. It's, it's an amazing product that 
this call, it's called Legal Show that's Brian been a part of. And there's also an amazing opportunity uh, to start a business in this, in this, you know, I, I, haven't, I haven't started the business yet, but I'm just using the products because I love the product so much. But Brian here, if you're looking to work with Brian and eventually myself in this business, there's a, there's a, there's a way you can contact Brian directly, send him a DM, or you can click the link in my bio. There's a little form to fill out and uh, you fill out the application and myself or Brian or one of our representatives will get in touch with you. And look, man, look, you, you and I, here's the deal. I'm going to put you on the spot in front of everybody that, that, that follows you. <laughs> you and I are going to partner on this. Uh, yeah. You too many entrepreneurial followers <clears throat> need the service that you just talked about, uh, but also uh, many of them probably don't have true residual income where you acquire a customer for a mobile app one time and get paid five, 10, 20 years down the road. So you and I, we need to partner on this for sure. And then that way- I'm, I'm, I'm definitely open to it. I'm definitely open to see where this can go. I mean, if, if the product has legs, the product speaks for itself, the product is something I use, this product is something I've already recommended people. I'm like, yeah. bro, thirty dollars a month for a, a legal representation, and you get what, ten hours, five, ten hours, to be able on the phone with a lawyer. I mean, every entrepreneur eventually is going to have to talk to a lawyer. Whether you need a simple agreement that you can probably think you can download online, wouldn't it be nice to have a, a lawyer look over it? I mean, yeah. if you're a business owner, I'm a business. I'm a, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've been a business owner for twenty years, guys, and I wish I would have got signed up with this. I spent mil. Not millions on lawyers, almost, let's say almost, but it's been a lot of money on law, lawyers and legal representation. You know, I've, I've started many businesses. I've been sued, especially to get sued in your businesses. And uh, there's, it's, it's just, it just gets very expensive. So yeah. uh, legal well, shows have been like a savior almost. You guys are right now witnessing something live. This is very unique, amazing. You guys are witnessing Jason Stone recruiting himself to partner, <laughs> partner this business how awesome is that you got i think i just recruited myself He's on this i didn't have to even sell him on it hey hey let me um look for regardless of what anybody here decides to do start a side business and treat it like it's your main thing put your job or whatever else you do put it on the back burner let it simmer keep it going <clears throat> uh, you're probably already working just hard enough so they don't fire you they're probably paying you just enough so you don't quit so let that keep on riding like that but even if you have five hours a week, give it full-time energy, full-time passion for those five hours. And I'll, I'll, let me share a story with you guys, if you don't mind. Um, Jason, I, I, I don't know if I told you the story or not. So my brother, the, the guy who called me the, the, the moron for wasting my time with this business, um, you know, sometimes we need something that's going to motivate us. Something that's going to be, you know, sometimes we want to uh, we want to do things for the carrot or the stick. Like, what are the rewards? Why I want to build and why I want to make all this money? Or it's the stick. It's like, you know, what's going to keep me from, uh, you know, what what are the what are the downsides that I can avoid? The pain I can avoid. Well, one of the things that motivated me is I wanted to prove to my family, and I wanted to prove to my friends that I was a smart guy and that I could succeed in the business that I decided to start. So let me show you guys something real quick. This this is something I, I, I've, I've been toying around with, you know, I'm, I'm trying to jockey around and maybe I'm going to get new cars and stuff like that. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you can see it here. But that red Ferrari right there, um, I, I, bought, I bought the, uh, I got the Bentley a few years ago, but that 355 Ferrari. That, that's an old model Ferrari too. That's way it back. is, it is. It's one of the last ones. It's a, a, a manual shift and, and it's, uh, you know, it's actually turned and it's actually starting to go up as a collectible um, now. But Anyway, so let me share my, my story around this, this car. So my brother uh, pissed me off so much for not being supportive uh, in my efforts with my home-based business that um, I decided when I made my first million dollars in the business after two and a half years, I, con I contacted Ferrari of Washington. And I said, look, I need a red 355 Ferrari Spider with tan interior. And they're like, we happen to have one here right now. And I said, I will be there in an hour. I went down there because my brother's dream car was a red 355 Ferrari with tan interior. He had a picture of that car on his, uh, on his refrigerator. Every time I saw I went to his house and I went to grab myself a drink out of his fridge, I saw that car. So a couple of days before Thanksgiving, when we were going to all be at my parents' house, the whole extended family, I went and got that car from Ferrari, Washington. I pulled up Thanksgiving Day in the circular drive in front of my parents' house. I walk in the house. I'm hanging out in there talking to people for 10, 15 minutes. And then my cousin walks in and goes, oh my gosh, his Ferrari's out front. I'm like, that's mine. And my brother goes, mm hmm, Ferrari, what? And he goes running outside and he's like, oh my God, that's my dream car. I'm like, 
hell yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you just have to have something that's going to like be that, that burn in your belly, like that thing that's going to really fire you up to cause you to go do what you don't feel like doing. You know, success doesn't happen just by convenience. Success is a, a decision followed by daily choices. I had to make the decision to make the phone calls and, and do the marketing and, and do the things I needed to do to build my home-based business when it, didn't, when it wasn't convenient or I was already had a long day in real estate. But I still found time to do it anyway. Why? I wanted that damn Ferrari to shove it in his face. Now, <laughs> I, I love my brother, um, but you know, I've had that car since uh, the year 2001. Wow. And I just can't get rid of it. It's like, it's a- 20 some years. Thing. What's that? 20 some years. Yeah, yeah, I can't get rid of it because it's just, it just, it, it was one of the reasons why I made the $25 million doing what I do. I got that car 21 years ago, but it still motivated me. It's, it's, a re it's like a trophy or representation uh, of, of, the, of the motivation and the inspiration that it takes to become an entrepreneur and, and to see it through to success. So look, you know, if I, you know, I just want to say, if I can do it, anybody can do it. You just got to find the right opportunity, the right mentor, lock arms with somebody. You know, I, I, I give a lot of credit to the people that, that taught me the business when I got started. That's why people say, well, Brian, if you really made all that money, why are you still working the business anymore? I haven't worked for money in 15, 18 years. I mean, I've, I've, I've invested my money well. I'm, I've, I've made eight figures a year. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to make another dollar. I wake up in the morning and I want to be able to help other people win. Yeah, success that's, is that, I mean, that, that, that's, that's, my, uh, that's my, my model, you know, to help inspire, motivate, and educate the world. So that's, that's uh, the vision of, I have with Millionaire Mentor. And, um, you know, if you're looking to lock arms with one of us as a mentor, there's opportunity here. Who knows? I, I, you never know where this business might go with myself. You know, I'm going to lock arms with Brian here. He's going to show me the way of what he's done for the last 20 years. I mean, he's got literally the number one best-selling book for home-based business, home -based businesses. It's called Building an Empire. If you're not read it yet, go out and grab it. It's on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Building an Empire, I've probably read it five, six times. So I'm looking forward to uh, locking arms and seeing where this partnership can go because like I said before, the product is an app on your phone that is needed by all business entrepreneurs literally you need this app so with 30 but i think it's like 30 bucks a month it's like a no-brainer to me this is like a no-brainer and attention goes where money flows so you never know where this attention go i could focus on this 100 percent. stop all my other businesses you know you never know <laughs> die business until we rip and roar so we're going to do some yeah. good things look i i hope that there's some folks on here and look it's not going to be for everybody but somebody watching right now is going to go if I can work with Brian and Jason and they can show me the ropes and they can help me get to a thousand a month, 2000 a month, 4,000 a month, 10,000 a month, let's do this. You know, follow us. We'll, we'll show you the ropes. I'm, 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 here, I'm here to help. All right. You heard the man. Um, link is in my bio. If you guys are interested in uh, hearing more information on this amazing business opportunity, it's a home based business. You can run it from anywhere in the world. It is, uh, I think the only caveat it is only available in the United States in Canada. The U.S. and Canada, right? Yeah. So I know we we have a lot of international people on the call right now. Thank you guys for supporting uh, me in this call and myself and Brian. And uh, but if you're looking forward to a new business model or just using the product, check out the link in my bio, fill out the form, and we'll be in contact with you. So thank you so much, Brian, for coming on the call. This is my first live in like I don't know three, four, five months. <laughs> So we're gonna do more of these lives, guys. We're gonna be interviewing more entrepreneurs, more successful entrepreneurs, bringing you the mindset, the inspiration, the motivation that you need to level up in your life and become successful. So guys, thank you so much. We'll see you guys. Peace. Yeah.